What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicole Espresso and welcome back to another Modern Warfare Master video here today on the channel. This one, we're going to be taking a look at something that is coming in the very near future here for Modern Warfare Remastered. Just a short little look in at this, but it's going to be dealing with bans and leaderboard updates, or rather cleanup in Modern Warfare Remastered very, very soon. So that said, if you guys enjoy it, drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything Modern Warfare Remastered and of course, Infinite Warfare as well. But this comes directly from the man himself, Amy. Miss Hodge, one of the lead designers over at Raven, working on Modern Warfare Remastered, and they've done an absolutely fantastic job so far with Modern Warfare Remastered, taking a look at what the community wants and then doing just that. So this is something that follows suit here with this to keep it more of a community-friendly game and to keep it more so community-based, and so the best are actually rewarded, and those that are cheating, well, those are the people that get punished. So over on Twitter, Amos Hodge took to letting us know by saying, report boosters and cheaters in-game by selecting their name and hitting report. Bands and leaderboard cleanup will be coming soon, hashtag Modern Warfare Remastered. So, straight from the source himself, the man himself over at Raven, this is going to be something that's taken care of in the next couple of days to weeks within Modern Warfare Remastered. There is no specific timetable at the moment, but if you're one of those people that like to boost for headshots or boost for different point values, things like that, well, it might come back to bite you in the butt here. And especially with the leaderboards being something that is so stressed on recently, I know in the past couple of years, I haven't seen near as much of an interest in leaderboard location as I have the past, say, maybe two to three at the most here. That might just be my personal view on it here and seeing more of players that go for it, but it definitely is something where I feel like there's a lot more stress on leaderboards now, and therefore, as as a result, there's a lot of people trying to boost their way, cheat their way up the system to then get the top of the leaderboard. So those who are out there might end up being taken out. And sometimes there is by a rare occurrence, a mistaken ban and a mistaken wipe or reset of the stats. I've seen some people that I know have, that have been legit been reset for no reason. They get it fixed eventually, but it's something that those mistakes do happen. But as for the bans and what kind of things constitute for that, for boosting, I don't think that this is going to take out the cage match boosting. That's been around since 2007, since the original COD 4, and it's something that is a little bit tougher to enforce because it's an entire game mode and it's something that is really relevant within that system. I think this is more so going to focus on different things such as domination boosting. There's been a lot of that going around recently, so I think things like that will be up on the chopping block, but as for cage matches, I'm not entirely sure how they will manage and enforce that type of system and play because that is something that once again is just so massive within a core mode itself. So that said, I think that we're going to see with time here. Once again, they did not lay out any single timetable, but presumably within the next week or maybe two, you'll start to see some people getting banned. You'll start to see some leaderboards wiped, some stats reset. We'll be coming shortly here, and that's straight from the man himself, a massage over at Raven. So that said, that's going to wrap this one up here today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys like the active enforcing of the leaderboards, different band systems, all that kind of stuff in Modern Warfare Mastered, or would you just like to see them let us play? I guess that's the big question here. Are you guys in favor of the bands or are you guys against the bands? Love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with everything Modern Warfare Mastered and of course, Infinite Warfare here as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.